This is a Van de Graaff generator. It is used to generate and store charges. Large electrostatic charges can be produced using a Van de Graaff generator. Charges from a high voltage supply are carried by the conveyor belt and stored on the semi-circular metal dome. My student will step onto the insulator while holding a door. Predict and describe what will happen to my student when she touches the dome. Before touching the dome, be sure to earth it to draw away any excess charges to avoid getting a shock. The Van de Graaff generator is now switched on. As you can see, both my student's hair and the doll's hair is standing. What has caused this? This graphic represents the original charge distribution of the Van de Graaff generator when it is negatively charged. When she touches the dome, the electrons are transferred from the dome to her due to the electrostatic force of repulsion. This causes her body to become negatively charged. As her hair is now all negatively charged, the electrostatic force of repulsion causes her hair to spread out. While the door is not shown in the graphic, its hair is also standing due to the effect of the same electrostatic forces. This shows that the invisible negative charges are transferred all over my student's body as well as transferring from her hand to the door. My student will now remove her hand from the dome. Notice that her hair and the doll's hair is still standing. What do you think has happened? The negative charges on her body were unable to escape to Earth. Hence, she remained negatively charged. At the same time, the door in her hand was also insulated and remained negatively charged. Once my student steps off the insulator, the electrons on her body move freely to the neutral ground due to electrostatic repulsion, hence neutralizing the negative charges on her body. As a result, her hair loses the charges and falls.